You stole my heart. Actually, I gave it to you. No, you stole my heart. You took it in broad daylight and started to run. No, I gave it to you. I gave you my heart, beating, full of life, full of affection, ready for anything. Actually, you grabbed for it, pulled it from my chest, took it like it was yours all along. And you wouldn't return it. In fact, you ran. You ran till I couldn't see you anymore. Actually, that's a lie. You didn't run. You just turned your back on me. And then you did things to it. You poked it with your finger, passed it from one hand to the other, held it up to block the sun, pretended to drop it. And I was okay with all of that. We laughed even, or rather you laughed, and I laughed as best I could, without a heart. Then you handed it back to me. You said you were done with it. But I refused to take it. I wanted you to have it. I wanted you to steal it again, to play with it. But eventually I took it back, put it where it belonged, as best I could, given the bleeding. But I wasn't well. The next day I went to the surgeon to sew me up properly. I sort of recuperated and went about my business, but my heart fell out. It didn't like being inside me anymore. And who should pick it up but you? You jiggled it. It's still alive, you said, and you tossed it for me to catch. I caught it, thank God, and put it back where it belonged as best I could, given the gaping hole and the unruly tubes. But again I wasn't well, so I went to the surgeon to sew it in place properly and close me up for good. That night I dreamt that my heart fell out and that you picked it up. You electrocuted it you pierced it. You threw it like a grenade, dropped it like a bomb, juggled it with apples and oranges. But each time it was about to hit or detonate or burst, I would leap and catch it and put it back inside myself. When I woke up, I was exhausted. I could hardly lift a limb. Next to me, you were still asleep. I watched you breathe and started to cry.